Hi, so today you're going to be learning how to do a serial dilution of methylene blue. We have a stock solution of methylene blue, which is 10 milligrams per liter. And we also have our deionized water, which is um, going to be used to make your dilutions. Before we get started, I wanted to show you how pipettes are calibrated. So this is a standard serological pipette. It's made out of glass. Um, and if you notice the graduations, they run from zero down to the tip. This particular pipette will buy pipette five milliliters in total volume, and it is graduated in increments of one tenth of a milliliter. So to use a pipette, you insert the top into a pipette filler and the pipette filler you depress the bulb to expel the air and then pressing on this button up draws liquid into the pipette pressing the button down expels the liquid out of the pipette so i have my pre-labeled tubes and i also have a tube labeled for the blank which is going to be water so i'm going to start doing our dilution our dilution is a simple one-to-one -one dilution. So I'm going to start out by adding three milliliters of water to tubes two through five, and six milliliters of water to, two, to the blank tube. Um, so I will insert the tip into the liquid, into our water, and notice I'm drawing the liquid up to the two milliliter mark. Remember, these are graduated backwards. So to get three milliliters of liquid, you have to draw liquid to two. So here's the first three milliliters. We will then use the button up on top to blow the little bit of liquid out of the pipette. So there's another three milliliters. And when I'm talking about blowing everything out of the tip, we don't want any liquid remaining above. So I am pressing this button to blow everything out. So here's our delivery of three mils into two pipe, um, tubes, two through five. And I will now add six milliliters of water to our blank tube. So there's five, I filled the pipette to zero. And I will have to then fill the pipette to four, to the mark of four, which is one milliliter on the fill. that in there that makes six okay so now we're going to switch by pets and we're going to start making our seal dilution we are going to start by putting six milliliters of methylene blue dye into tube one so again and you'll be able to see this a lot better with the blue dye I will pipette five milliliters so I fill the pipette all the way to the zero mark and deliver everything into tube one and you'll notice there's a little bit left behind in the tip. If I depress that button on top, that blows everything out. So I need six milliliters. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more milliliter. See, it's to the four milliliter mark. All right, I can set my pipette aside cap my tube of stock solution because I won't need that anymore and now we'll go on and start doing our serial dilution so in our serial dilution we're adding three milliliters of the dye from tube one to three milliliters of water that we put in tube two so you'll notice I'm only immersing the top in the liquid I will draw out three milliliters which means I go to the two milliliter mark and there's your one, two, three milliliters. I will expel that into tube two. And you will notice that it is not mixed well. You will notice I'm gently going to pipe up this liquid up and down a few times to make sure that it's mixed. And again, expel everything out. So now we're ready to make the next cereal dilution. So I will draw three mils into the tube, out of this tube, and then 
transfer into tube three. And again, to make sure that it's all well mixed, I will pipe it up and down two or three times. Notice that I am only keeping the very tip of the pipette submerged under the liquid as I pipe it up and down. Okay, so now we're gonna do the next serial dilution. Again, I will draw out three milliliters. Transfer to four. Pipe it up and down to mix. Draw the last three milliliters after mixing and transfer those three milliliters to tube five. Okay, so here's our serial dilutions. Next step will be to generate some quantitative data by reading the absorbance of these five solutions in a spectrophotometer.